Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I am Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro, and I want to welcome you guys back to the Rookie Mycologist. About three months ago, I showed you guys how to do agar to grain bag and agar to grain jar. In today's video, I'm going to show you now that it's colonized how I spawn to bulk. Okay, so as always, the first thing that we got to do is we have to set up our mono tub. You can see that I have the bottom portion right here. I'm going to clean it out with the 70% ISO alcohol and I'm using a paper napkin in order to wipe it down. After I do that, I'm going to put the liner in the bottom of it. Usually I'm using a liner every time for the most part and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to clean it as well. Now the ratio I use to spawn to bulk is one three pound bag of grain spawn and two five pound bags of substrate. Now, as far as the substrate that I'm using, I like using the substrate from North Spore. If you want to get any of the substrate or any of their other great products, use the code base drop keys. That will give you a 10% discount on any order at Norspore.com. And as you guys can see, I'm using the max yield bin for this. If you want to get the max yield bin or the boomer bin from North Spore, they're also available at Norspore.com. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the five pound bags and I'm gonna put it at the bottom and spread it all around, breaking up the big clumps. So that way we don't have any big clumps of substrate in here. After that's completed, I'm gonna take my grain spawn. You can check it out right here. You can see that it's fully colonized. And now you guys are probably wondering, why do you have that out of the bag already? Well, the video that you guys seen yesterday of me putting two all-in-one bags in one mono tub, I actually made a mistake. And the first time that I did it, I actually cut open two grain bags instead of the two all-in-one bags. The first time I did it, I cut open two grain bags and put it in there. So I ended up having to do the video over. But at any rate, that's why the grain spawn is already out of the bag is because I made a mistake. It's just a small mistake because I was doing this video anyway, but that's what happened. And so basically I'm treating this like a lasagna, substrate at the bottom, grain spawn in the middle. Once that's done, I don't use a casing layer. I do a pseudo casing using the substrate. So I'm gonna take another five pound bag, put it on the top, spread it all around, and that's how I spawn to bulk. Now, whenever you do this, you always wanna check your fill capacity afterwards. And just from doing this a bunch of times, I know that this is just a little bit too dry. So I do have my Flarisol bottle with distilled water in here, and I'm just gonna mist it slightly just to give it more moisture. Now, I wanna admit to you guys that spawning to bulk is usually where my mushroom grows go wrong, if they're gonna go wrong. For whatever reason, after I spawn to bulk is where I usually get contaminated if I'm gonna get it. So I'm really trying to make sure that everything is clean and done the way that it's supposed to be, because for whatever reason, this is the part that gets me. Speaking on that, you guys know that I can't tell you where exactly I got it from here on YouTube because they'll give me a strike. If you want to know where exactly you should get your spores, your liquid culture, isolated spore syringes, multiple spore syringes, spore prints, and whatever else you need, come over to Instagram, check out the pinned post that I have at the Rookie Mycologist, and I'll show you and tell you my recommendations on where you should get everything. Now, once that's complete, I'm gonna put a lid on this. If you look at the footage, you can see that I'm actually putting the lid with the patches on it. This is actually the lid that I use for fruiting. So I did have to come back and put the flat colonizer lid on top of it. The colonizer lid is just a flat lid that goes on the mono tub, allows it to colonize fully. And then once we want it in fruiting conditions, we'll put the bigger lid on it with the filter patches. That's gonna allow that air to get in and that's gonna induce the pinning whenever it's fully colonized. Once I did that, all I have to do is just label it with the date, the company, the strain, and then I put it inside of the tent. The tent that I'm using right here is a AC Infinity 5x5 five five tent. I'm also using the T6 inline fan from AC Infinity. If you wanna try any of the great AC Infinity products for yourself, click the link that's in the description. Use the code base drop keys to save 15% off any order at acinfinity.com.
I want to thank them for sponsoring me the last three years. Go over to the website and check out all the products for yourself. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys spending a little time with me. Don't forget that I am dropping a new video every day of the week this week, Monday through Friday. So I'll see you guys with a brand new video tomorrow. If you want to support me and the channel, come over to the rookiemycologist.com and get yourself hats, shirts, slides and a lot of other cool merch that i have on the site this has nothing to do with mushrooms but if you like gambling i did start a new channel called the rookie gambler the link will be in the description if you're interested i really appreciate all of you guys and until i see you guys the next time peace guys i'm out